Hello and welcome to Football Daily, where today we're looking at 10 players struggling to keep a place at their club this season. 10. Aaron Ramsdale One of just four Premier League players not to miss a single minute in 2022-23, Aaron Ramsdale must have expected another strong year this season. The stopper not only kept 14 clean sheets and helped the Gunners climb back into their first title race in seven years, he revolutionised their build-up play with his fearless passing and high standards, but the arrival of David Raya has had a similar effect. The Spaniard was Arteta's preferred target the summer that Ramsdale joined, and like Ramsdale, he also played every game last year. More importantly, he put up better stats too, saving 78% of shots on target to the Englishman's 70%, and outperforming expected goals against by 5, while Ramsdale underperformed by 2. And Raya is already arguably the first choice at the Emirates, coming into the team after three rounds of fixtures and then starting in Arsenal's first Champions League fixture in over six years. Cruelly, the competition Ramsdale was so vital in helping the Londoners return to. At 27, the former Brentford man is unlikely to decline any time soon, leaving Ramsdale considering his options. A season on the bench could firm up his decision. 9. Diogo Jota Liverpool's squad planning was once the best in the business. The special source which enabled them to compete with Manchester City on a smaller budget, the Reds' recruitment saw smash after smash in Klopp's first five seasons at the club. And when Diogo Jota first arrived at Anfield, he looked another certainty, bagging nine goals in 12 his first year before jumping to 19 in 27 in his second. Aggressive, versatile and surprisingly physical, Jota was the perfect player to cover for Mane, Firmino or even Salah. But hamstring and calf injuries in 22-23 kept him to just over a thousand minutes and ruled him out of the World Cup. But Liverpool couldn't wait for him to heal. Diaz, Hakpo and Darwin Nunez are all contending for game time now, and while Jota scored or assisted every 103 minutes last term, trailing only Firmino in the squad, Nunez coming into the side meant a creative passer was necessary for balance. A better role for Hakpo, who surpasses Jota in chances created and dribbles, while matching him for work rate. Still perhaps the most talented Liverpool forward after Salah, Jota has world-beating quality but needs to stay fit or risk being sidelined. 8. Paul Pogba What a tragic career it's turned out to be for Paul Pogba. The Frenchman arrived at Manchester United in 2016 for a world record fee, off the back of four titles and a Champions League final in four years, but never became the dominant midfielder he clearly had the talent to be, heading back to Juventus in 2022 with the aim of reviving his fortunes. Pogba was hardly bad at Old Trafford, delivering 67 goal involvements in 139 league starts for the Red Devils, but his injury record was woeful, playing just 43% of minutes in his last three years in England, and the situation only got worse back in Turin. A meniscus problem ruled him out of the entire Italian campaign and the World Cup, and then in September 2023, he was handed a provisional ban of up to four years after a routine drug test turned up elevated levels of testosterone. A second sample could yet clear the 30-year-old, but a lengthy suspension would all but end his career. He needs to clear his name and then prove that he still has something to offer the sport, which once looked his to rule. 7. Emerson Royale Harry Kane out, the Fabio Paratici scandal hanging over the club, and a total lack of competent centre-backs, Ange Postacoglu inherited a raft of concerns when he took over Tottenham in the summer. But one major issue was the shape of the squad, with Antonio Conte's back three preference stuffing the roster with wing-backs and forcing the Australian to try to make some round holes square. Emerson Royale then should have been at an advantage as a natural back four player, so it's even more damning that he started one game to Pedro Porro's five, especially as Tottenham's strong start has concealed a leaky defence, giving up 13 shots a game to date, ranking 11th in the league. Emerson would be expected to help with that, but he looks out of sorts, failing with both tackles he's attempted this season, while in attack he's an obvious downgrade, creating 0.9 chances a game across his career, only half Porro's lifetime average. Selling Kane and signing seven players with an average age of 22 over the summer shows Spurs a building for the future. If Emerson can't show he belongs in it, 2024 will likely bring a swift exit. 6. Nico Williams With 43 players arriving at Nottingham Forest at a combined cost of €317 million Euros since their promotion to the top flight, it was inevitable that some players would fall through the cracks, but it's surprising that one of them could be Nico Williams. Forrest paid €20 million Euros for his services, the fourth most of all those moves, and he came highly recommended, having helped Fulham top the championship after winning the title with boyhood club Liverpool. He certainly started as a favourite, playing 75% of minutes until the World Cup break, but after that, competition from Aurier, injury and form meant he featured just 40% of the time for the rest of the campaign, 
and in 23-24, the Ivorian has been picked four times more often. And on the stats, he deserves it, having played twice as many progressive passes per game as Williams over the last year, as well as boasting a 70% tackle success to the Welshman's 53, the kind of thing which makes all the difference in a relegation tussle. It's early days of course, the season's barely begun and Williams is 22, but already he's got work to do to prove himself. 5. Jadon Sancho Manchester United can't go a season without a war on one of their own players, and this year they've got both Harry Maguire and Jadon Sancho on their enemies list. The former Dortmund man is currently on indefinite suspension from the first team after publicly calling out manager Eric Ten Hag, responding to criticism of his work in training with the claim he's been made a scapegoat for a long time. It's a pity as the Red Devils are weak on the right, and while he's failed to hit the heights of his insane Bundesliga record with 83 goals and assists in 82 starts, Sancho has shown increasing promise in a red shirt. In 22-23, he placed in the top quarter of Prem attackers with 0.5 xG per 90, and in the top 10% for shot-creating actions and progressive carries. But given his lack of top-level speed and the arrival of Mason Mount, his options look worse than ever, with some fans suspecting Ten Hag wants to force him out, just two years into a five-season deal which has already cost Man United £120 million. An apology to the boss could apparently help the situation, but with both club and player standing their ground, this has cut price exit written all over it. 4. Andre Lunin With Courtois suffering a knee ligament injury in pre-season, Real Madrid face uncertainty between the sticks for the first time in five years, and with acceptable but hardly world-class cover arriving in the form of Chelsea low-knee Kepa, the pressure is on 24-year-old keeper Andre Lunin to prove that he can one day wear the number one shirt. After all, Real have been cutthroat in recent years, selling on excellent players like Urgor, Hakimi and Teo Hernandez when they didn't fit the project. So Lunin, who has played two of six league games so far, needs to excel to stay out of Florentino Perez's bad books. And Real themselves may be keen to see what the 9 million euro signing from Zoya Luhansk can do. Two loan periods at Leganes and Oviedo produced eight clean sheets and 25 conceded in 24 starts, but with Los Blancos' first team, Lunin has made just 11 league appearances in three years, losing three of those games, and has only featured twice in the Champions League, where his ability to win matches with big saves will be the true test of his potential at the Bernabeu. If he ends the campaign as Kepa's backup, his days will be numbered in the Spanish capital. If he rises to the challenge, he could have 10 years at the top of the global game. 3. Ferran Torres It's hard to know what Ferran Torres can do to get a break. The Spaniard left Manchester City in 2022 for regular game time, but despite a better strike rate than 1 in 2 and 0.6 xG per 90 at Barcelona, he's never made himself undeniable in Catalonia, with 22 of his last 38 appearances for the Blaugrana coming from the bench. Torres must have expected better with Ousmane Dembele exiting, and he's bagged three goals this term so far, but while that's second in the Barca squad to Lewandowski, there are a whopping 11 players with more minutes. A little unfair given that Torres is first in the team for shots per 90, second for chances created, third for carries into the box, and is winning possession more often than Rafinha and Lewandowski put together. Most insultingly of all, 16-year-old Lamine Yamal has overtaken him in the pecking order, making an exit less a possibility than a necessity. Who will save him this time? 2. Leon Goretzka Bayern's attempts to remake their midfield over the summer were a disaster. Not only did they miss out on targets like Caicedo, Rice and Palina, they seemed to write off Conrad Leimer before he even arrived while Thomas Tuchel's hunt for a six prompted public complaints from Kimmich. And amid all this, the club reportedly tried to offload Leon Goretzka, making it all the more surprising that, after five Bundesliga games, the German has started four. Selling the 28-year-old would have been tough, as his free transfer back in 2018 landed him a wage of €350,000 a week, a steep bill even for Manchester United, who registered an interest. But with Jamal Musiala asserting himself in attacking midfield, that price is hard to justify. The older man producing just five goal involvements last year to Musiala's 22, trailing him in progressive carries and barely besting him in progressive passes or defensive work, despite featuring in a deeper role. If another controller arrives in the next two windows, Goretzka might head to the bench, an embarrassing demotion for a Champions League winner still in his prime. It might be time to plot an escape. 1. Timo Werner after two underwhelming years at Chelsea, Timo Werner's return to RB Leipzig was meant to be triumphant, the German striker taking his place back at a club where he previously bagged 105 goals and assists in 127 league appearances. But last term he picked up just 12 goal involvements in 27 games, and this season he's played just 17% of available minutes so far, with one start to his name. 
Given that he missed only 9 league games out of 136 during his first spell with Leipzig, it's a shock to see the 27 year old slide down the pecking order, and the form of his rivals looks a serious threat to his future under Marco Rosa. Luis Openda has landed with a bang, grabbing 3 goals and an assist in his first 5 games. Danny Olmo is on 3 for the campaign, and Xavi Simmons looks a superstar already, the 20 year old having a hand in 7 goals so far to rank 3rd in Europe for end product. With Poulsen, Baumgartner, Carvalho and Sheshko all fighting for minutes too, Werner seems the odd man out, his confidence blown by his miserable time in London. It looks like Leipzig have outgrown him too. So those are 10 players fighting for survival this season, but who should we have included on our list? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, drop us a like and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and you'll never miss an upload.